Hi everyone, um, this is just a little video to follow on from um, yesterday, all about the theme of self-love because I know that's what you guys wanted to hear about and I love that you wanted to hear about that because it kind of says to me that you guys want to make the changes in your life and um, have that kind of self-assurance and confidence that I think we all need and we all crave it, I guess, but it's kind of hard to work out how to go about it. So today, yesterday was about my routine and today I wanted to talk to you about the ways in which I kind of keep on that self-love path. Um, obviously there are days that you veer off track and particularly premenstrual days I get a bit, um, I can get a bit listening to that inner critic but, um, but mostly the things I do every day as I said um, yesterday, a little ritual that I do every day is I start um, every day I pick one of the sacred self, just grab them, sacred self, um, self love cards. These are so, so beautiful. I'll, um, I'll put the link below if you guys want to get your hands on some, but like they're just gorgeous. Um, everyone is just this beautiful affirmation to take into your day and I have it sitting up next to my computer and as a reminder. So, you know, self-love is letting go of the need for other people's approval. I approve of myself. Like, that's beautiful. These are gorgeous. I love them. So that's one of the things. Um, I also have uh, little affirmations that I put next to my mirror in the bathroom. I think that the mirror is the biggest place in the house where that inner critic can fire in there and, you know, sucker punch you with um, negative thoughts. So I have the little reminders, um, you know, just things like um, I love and approve of myself, um, little affirmations that are special to me. And I think that that's the, the key thing for you guys is to have ones that mean something to you because they have to mean something to you because they need to sink in. Um, so every time I'm in the bathroom, I get that little reminder. Uh, other ways, I, I think what else also you need to kind of work out what self-love means for you and to have, you know, that self-love and confidence, assurance. Um, how do you feel? If, how would you feel if you had that? Um, and then kind of harnessing those feelings and doing things that, bring those feelings to the forefront so you know for me it's all about joy and um and happiness and I'm lucky I guess with my um with my kids is I'm I'm still kind of cool <laughs> so I can dance around the house like a lunatic and pretend to sing and do all these things that I love and kind of that childhood um vibrancy and, and joy um and they're like mum you're awesome. I'm like, yeah, I am. So kind of that they're not like, oh, mum, you're so embarrassing. I'm sure they will get there, but we're not up to that yet, which which helps. Uh, my the other thing, I guess, my kind of whole process of self love is always evolving. So the way I look at myself now is different to the way I looked at myself three months ago. I've grown a lot in the way I, I feel about myself and I've got to know myself more. And we're, we're, we're evolving every day. So we've always kind of got to re-introduce um, ourselves to the new aspects of our personalities and, and that kind of thing. Um, and that's okay too. Like it's always, uh, as I said, with my routine as well, there's, there's no... There's nothing set in stone in any of this. This is your life and it's your, it's completely up to you what you do and how you live it. You don't have to do a routine because you think that's what needs to be done. You don't have to, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing affirmations, that's totally fine. You don't have to. You do what works for you and what makes you feel comfortable because we have to have you feeling comfortable for this kind of stuff to set in. Um, that's kind of what it's about as well. It's all about re 
repetition because the more you do it, the more it's like, hey, yeah, I'm going to listen to that nice angel and ignore the devil kind of thing because they can be very, you know, that voice can get really in there. It's ingrained in you for so long that you don't want to, you know, spend your life um, listening to that one. So the more nice little chatter you get from here, the more it'll sink in. Um, so yeah, it's all about doing things um, that, nur that nurtures you. And as I said yesterday, it's, you know, bringing a good, um, in having a good environment around your home, having your home feel warm and or whatever works for you how how it feels good for you nourishing foods plenty of water movement like daily movement that because getting out there and, and moving around and you don't have to be slogging it out at the gym for an hour just you know active living love that term from Lorna Jane and love it <laughs> um, that active living says it all and that kind of getting out there, getting the heart rate up a bit, you feel so much better for it. Um, or even if it's just crazy dancing with your kids for a little bit. Um, doing things that bring you joy. Because when you're in that joyful frame of mind, you are more likely to listen to that beautiful voice. And that's the truth. Because you are beautiful and I really, I really want you to know that and I want you to see that. You deserve to see that. So practice. It's all about practice. And starting to recognize that nasty voice and when you hear it, switching it over and saying a compliment. Um, the other thing, I, one other thing that I um, like to do as well, if I'm, ha if I'm finding that I've had a couple of days where I am feeling a bit down on myself, I'll uh, write in my little gratitude journal and rather than focus on being grateful for what's happened in the day, I focus on grateful for what I've done. Um, because whatever you're doing, you're doing an amazing job, no matter what it is you're doing. Like if you're a mum, you're a mum. Like that alone is incredible and you deserve so much love and respect for doing that. You're at work. Like running your own business, you're running your own business. That is amazing. You are running your own business. If you're working for someone else, that is incredible because you are working your butt off for someone else. Either way you look at it, you've got to look at those positives and yeah, switching up that mindset. So I've kind of rabbited it on again. <laughs> but you'll know that about me. Um, but that's kind of the things that I do is um, focusing on the good repetition and switching around that mindset and they are the beautiful first steps I think to start to get you changing and you will notice it it does take time um, but you will notice changes if you start doing it you'll, you'll notice a difference so be kind to yourself gorgeous you deserve it and um, have an awesome day and uh, there'll be more self-love posts to come. Bye-bye.